five reasons why we enjoy or recommend wall throws and why they're so beneficial. So number one, Hey everybody, it's Eric Johnson from Airtay Throws Nation. In today's video, what we're gonna do is go through five reasons why I think you should be incorporating wall throws into your training in the off season. As everybody knows, we have had a extremely odd year. COVID has really just obviously crushed the 2020 season and it's still having an impact as we go into fall when we would normally start getting into thinking about what we're going to do gearing up for indoor or getting ready for the 2021 season and those things are still changing and seasons are adjusting and when we get into that off season time because we're having so many limitations one of the core things that you need to do is get a wall and you need throwing balls. So what we have for the discus are throwing, you know, implement weight balls. So we have one kilo, one six, two kilo. We can go overweight with two fives. And then we'll, we'll use typically indoor shots for walls. Now, if you're throwing closer to a wall, like you have limited space, we like the hard shell shots. They tend to be a little bit more durable. And generally, if you can get backed off of the wall a little bit more, um, just either soft shell or an indoor shot is gonna work. And this way, you're going to be able to get in a lot of reps. Now, that being said, we're gonna go, what are five reasons why we enjoy or recommend wall throws and why they're so beneficial? So number one is that wall throws allow you to focus on technique and not distance. But when you put an athlete in front of a wall, you know, the, the ball's not going anywhere. It's a common thing that we talk about. It says, no matter how hard I throw or what I do, it's gonna go X distance to the wall. And so by default, it gets our athletes out of the mindset of wanting to to see how far it is. The minute you put an athlete in the ring, they're immediately, you guys out there that are watching that are throwers, you know it, you can't help yourself. It's the nature of the sport. You wanna see it go far. So one of the nice things about wall throws is it allows you to really break down technical positions and work. So hopefully it kind of gives you a little insight into what goes into our training session, what we think about pre-meet, so check it out. So at this stage of the practice, one of the things we're focusing on, we wanna get guys meet ready. So rule of thumb is we're not gonna be focusing on a ton of cues. We wanna be more rhythmical. And I think that's a good suggestion. If you're thinking about too many things going to meet, it's usually gonna be uh, kind of end up in a disaster. So what we did with Mason was we were trying to get him in a good rhythm and his rhythm was slightly off. I feel like we needed like one or two additional training sessions just to dial him up a little bit more, but he was super close and still hitting some good throws right there. See how you're still kind of shifting? Yeah. So just keep twisting longer and then your left foot can move. Turn the shoulder. Lock your left, lock your right. Okay. So when you right. wind in position two, you see on the inside of your left foot. Look at that, you had so much power on it, you blew your glasses off your head. Oof, that was super close. I like that throw a lot. Just, yeah, it was a lot better, okay? We just gotta make sure we're coming through. And then Faith, what you saw is, historically Faith has been super overactive with her upper body and her shoulder and throwing dominant. So she's had a narrow sweep leg and she's really limits her pull. She's got good power, but she's really not easily been able to feel those positions. And so she's been doing a really good job. And in this training session, she was starting to get a lot better pull. And she actually, both throwers went to the meet through fairly well. But um, like I said, I think they both could have had just one or two more sessions to dial it up, but it was a really good year considering the circumstances. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video.